Bus here bringing you the brand new video and today. Have you seen this date? It's been updated. The ban list has been officially updated and this is a supposedly an emergency ban list. So let's just go right ahead and there's only three things that, 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 that have been touched on the ban list. We're going to touch on this. The first card is Elder Anthony Norton. I have said for the longest time Elder Anthony Norton is the problem in the game. Not I've said this before Zoo. I've said this before when that card came out that this card is going to be a problem and it is a problem. The ban this card is the only way that this card could ever effectively remain balanced. This card is just too easy to bring out, it's too easy to use, and it kind of is really, really just too strong. Rank 4 plays are super strong, and now this kind of just cuts them, cuts them down to size now. That's really, really good. Next is Speedroid Teratop. Now this is unfortunate for me because I have a playset of Teratops and I was actually thinking about buying ultis uh, if, if they didn't get hit. But Teratop is on the list. It's very similar to Tour Guide of the Underworld and what it can do. It's a rank 3 in, uh, ignition play. It's very strong. It it's doesn't use up your normal summon. It's just all around just really, really retarded. Um, I'm, I'm quite honestly thrilled that this card is on the, on, on the limited list. Um, though I think Embex Saber Invoker is still a problem. Uh, we'll see how this turns out. Maybe it'll fall to the wayside, but we will see. And the last card is that grass looks greener. So for, for those that don't know why, why this ban list is actually happening, it's because at YCS Pittsburgh, there was a top, the, 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 the top 32 was consistent zoo. It was consistently zoo. And I think that since uh, they hit zoo a little bit harder now, it's going to be less dominant of a deck. Um, uh, or, or if, if or it's actually no, it's not going to be less. It's, it's still going to be probably probably about the same amount of uh, amount. It's probably just going to be a little bit less, you know, flexible. You can't run Terra Top, and you're not playing Norton, so you're going to have to cut out those instant fusions. You're also going to have have to cut out two, um, two uh, Terra Top if you still want to play Terra Top. Um, but you're also going to have to find a different rank three engine if you're going to want to play MX Saber Invoker. Um, I'm not sure. You you're, or you could just probably play Bio Baboon. It'll probably would do the same thing. Um, uh, it is generic, so that is, that is a thing that people need to consider when they're talking about MX Saber Invokers, that Balbaboon does make it. So, who knows, we might see Balbaboon pop up in, in in the future, but this is a really good hit on the list, uh, the gra that Grass Look Screener, because... Uh, Infernoids is also one of the is also a really strong deck, and I think that this is just collateral damage, just in case. I think um, Zoo uh, Infernoid Zoo is pretty good. I also think that uh, it's Zoo with uh, or Infernoids with this card is uh, just pure Infernoids is really really strong. Um, I think this card is one of the most degenerate cards ever created in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Never would a card ever be... No, no card deserves to say mill 20 cards at the top of your deck and deserve to be legal. I think I think that that's, that's absolutely insane. Um, I think this card's actually really, really... Uh, it's it, it, it's it's fitting to be here because I because I, I think if if they if the hits are right and they and they accidentally kill Zoo with these two hits and, and Infernoids are just going to be super dominant and then that would just be that would just not be good for the game. So anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. This is actually really insane that this is an emergency ban list. Um, whether I think Zoo is dead or not, uh, I don't think they're dead. I think they're going to be uh, less efficient now. And I think True King Zoo is still going to be really, really good. I also think that Infernoid Zoo is still going to be really, really good. You're just not going to be, be, be as flexible in Infernoid Zoo because they hit they gra that Grass Look Screener. And that was kind of the only reason why Infernoids were kind of good was because of gra that Grass Look Screener. And you can also play Monster Gate and, um, and Reasoning. Those cards made the deck pretty good. Um, but I, I guess you can't exactly do that unless you're playing Light Swarm now um uh, uh, you're probably still going to be playing that that, that the one copy of that like that, that grass looks greener you're also probably still going to be playing reasoning and monster gate for the most part because it is still pretty good uh but i uh, I, don't, I don't think zoo is dead i don't think true king zoo is dead i don't think anything any zoo variant is currently dead i think zoo is just at its weak state um i still think there, there could be a lot more done to zoo but as of right now i think this is just i think this is fine i really think this is okay just in time for Matt Nationals, and people can still play Zoo and still invest in Zoo and sell it after the Nationals because it's, it's probably going to get axed as soon as possible. But we'll see how that goes. So anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about this, about this, all this stuff in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Menomorphos, and I'll be sending out also the new Roid Monster. Uh, I'm excited about it. No, I'll be talking about it as soon as I get around to it. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Menomorphos, and I'll be signing out.